The following video, regardless of how brightly colored it is, is not intended for children. If you or someone watching with you is considered a child in your country, you're not supposed to be here in the first place. Please read YouTube's terms and conditions and utilize the YouTube Kids app. That's why it's fucking there. of me anyway. Uh, I'm here with November's Tokyo Treat Box. Yeah, I'm too hungry for a big long intro. For those of you wondering how a treat unboxing is not for children, I'd like to point out that small children can't afford subscription boxes. Even this extremely affordable one at 30 something dollars? Like thirty-seven dollars. I don't know any twelve-year-olds that just randomly have thirty-seven dollars every month. So the people buying these are adults and our disposable income. So no, no, this is not for kids. But if you're a grown-up with a sugar addiction like me, this is where it's at. Tokyo Trade is a monthly subscription box full of Japanese candy and sweets and snacks and such. So I'm going to put the box here, and I'm going to look over here, and on the top is the little magazine. In every box you get a little magazine. It's got a list of everything that's in here. I try not to look too far ahead, but there is an apple on the front, and I am going to need to know what is apple flavored. They don't actually list allergens, but they'll like blah blah apple flavored or blah blah chestnut flavored. So here we go. First thing is uh, this thing. This thing is. Potato Snack Corn Pottage, Hokkaido. Okay. I'm not going to read the whole thing. There's always this big long thing. This is a crunchy potato snack, and it's corn pottage flavored. Apparently the corn pottage in Hokkaido is different. So... They're like wafer things. How peculiar. Mm. I like the taste of corn pottage. I don't really know what it is, but it kind of tastes like cream corn. In a good way. It tastes good, but it's kind of like sharp. Not like, not like a cheese kind of sharp, but like pointy. Almost like it was, it almost tastes like it was fried. You know, like that oily kind of aftertaste. Hmm. It's like a fried potato chip dipped in cream corn. If that sounds good, then this was good. I thought it was good. I always love editing this part. The really, really boring parts where like I'm chewing or... Did that just say there was a face behind me? You're just... There's a whole big face behind me, isn't there? Weird. <sighs> I love when the camera detects things that aren't there. It's terrifying. So the second thing is this. More corn pottage stuff. Mm. See, it doesn't not look like cream corn. Corn pottage snack Hokkaido. Crunchy corn pottage flavored snack.
So these ones kind of smell like cheese and look like a really weird corn pop. It's like difficult to describe. That's what it is. Is generic puffed corn snack covered in like a corn pottage flavored powder. And this one's got more of like a buttery aftertaste. Like it's more. Yes, the word is buttery. <laughs> mm, I like both of those. The first one was like heavy and like crunchy, and then. The other one was like light and crunchy. They both taste like cream corn. In a good way. Oh, next. We got this ginormous thing. Atsugi luxury potato sea urchin flavor. Sea urchin flavor. Again, Hokkaido. These luxurious sea urchin flavored potato chips are inspired by the famous sea urchin of Hokkaido. Can't say as I know what a sea urchin's supposed to taste like. I know they look like that. What does this say? Does that mean there's actually like real, live, well, real dead sea I'm so afraid. Okay. That is very um oceany. Okay. It smells kinda like lobster. Yeah, it looks like a ruffles. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. I don't know what this tastes like. I'm gonna go with it tastes like sea urchin. Because I don't know what that's supposed to taste like. It doesn't taste like fish. It's a little bit oceany. Kind of like, um, like shellfish-ish. Delish ish ish. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna eat these. These are delicious. I don't know if they taste like sea urchin, but they definitely taste good. Okay. This. Uh oh. One of these. Uh oh. We've done this before. Sigh. In every Tokyo Tree Premium, you get a DIY and a beverage. You used to do the DIY and the beverage in a separate episode, but our DIYs seem to be multiplying, replicating, cloning themselves, and coming back. Doki Doki Fishing DIY Kit. Shizu... Ko... Shizu... I can barely speak English, alright? <laughs> This word. It's fishing candy. You put like a string and some powder and you put water on it and make some fish. I may or may not do this again. Um, or maybe I'll just link to it here. If there's a link here, then that's what I've done. And otherwise, subscribe. I may or may not do this. Again. 
Also keeping in mind that I have been subscribed to Tokyo Treat for 47 months. So I'm gonna get doubles. I'm gonna get triples, I'm gonna get quadruples, which is fine. Unless you're trying to make a YouTube video and you use it for content, in which case... Oops. But anyway, the kit itself is pretty good. It's grape flavored, which is not my favorite, but the candy itself is it's pretty good. Moving on to this. Oh my, it's M Pan Man. It's Apple and Pan Man. M Pan Man Apple Gummies. Aww. They are apple flavored gummies. I can't try these. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure they're delicious. I need to learn a new word. I'm sure they're scrumptious, but I, I can't even try. This. Chocolate pie. The, this word. And the and pan man was this word. Can I see? Can I see? I'm not going to try to pronounce them because I'm just... Again, I can barely read English on a good day, alright? I'm not going to try to butcher these names. But it's a chocolate pie. Most of these are saying, it's this, and then the place where it's from is famous for this, and then not much more information. It's chocolate pie. The place where it's from is famous for chocolate. So they put it in a pie. Looks like this. This is like a fast food restaurant kind of pie. It's really flaky. And the chocolate is really good. It's not really dark chocolate, but it's definitely not milk chocolate either. That's really, really good. I don't know if I call it a pie though. It's like a cookie. Crunchy like a cookie. Okay. I, I already know what this is, so I'm just gonna get this over with. Yeah, it's Coca Cola Apple. I cannot do this, so do not subscribe to watch me do this and the DIY because, again, physically unable. I really want to though. That looks so good. Uh, oh well. Maybe someday they'll cure allergies entirely and I can have apples again. This chocolate, chocolate, this word, but I can read the word Tokyo. <laughs> They're a type of pancake sandwich, typically filled with red bean. Custard or chocolate. This one's chocolate. That's, oh my. It's very interesting. It's literally just two pancakes with some frosting on the inside. That's crazy. It's literally just two pancakes with some chocolate in the middle. That 
that is fascinatingly delicious. Sorry, not delicious. Um, it's appetizing. Let me get a thesaurus. Get a thesaurus and get back to you. Okay. So far, everything I've been able to eat has been really good. Ooh, and this. Brown sugar bar. Oh, 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 I know this word. Okinawa. I know that word. It is brown sugar and honey. So it's like... Crumbly stuff. And there's like a shell of brown sugar. It's really flaky and messy. And the outside is really, really crunchy. And then the inside is just, it just melts away because it's nothing. And it's really sweet. And I thoroughly enjoy these. They're very messy though. They kind of get everywhere. Umaibo! In every Tokyo treat you get an Umaibo! It is a tube of corn snack. This particular one is Takoyaki Umaibo from Osaka. Takoyaki is the octopus ball things that I like the flavoring of but not the actual thing. Don't look at me. I know I'm weird. Ooh, my bow is a tube of quartz snack. I don't know what Indian spice combination this reminds me of, but for some reason, every time I bite into a takoyaki, umaibo, I'm reminded of this girl I used to know and her grandmother's cooking. So. Don't know. Well, my botakiyakis taste like comforting Indian food. <laughs> it is good though. I thoroughly enjoy takoyaki flavored things. For a while I wasn't really sure how I felt about umaibo, but over the years it's kind of grown on me. It's just a handy little crunch crunch crunch, you know? Anyway, umaibo. Very, very popular to get. Next, a uh, this. Him. Those words. It's a chocolate covered cookie, from what I understand. Yes, it is a very crumbled. Chocolate cookie. Cookie, chocolate. I don't really know what to call this. It's like a chocolate covered biscuit, but different. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. Again, the chocolate. It's not like milk chocolate, but it's not very dark chocolate either. It's still very sweet. Mmm. That's good. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy these, but if I saw them at a party, I'd definitely stand at the table. <laughs> Remember I said that brown sugar thing got everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, I know, if I'm going to do this, I really need to learn how to read. Those words. 
it is a sweet candy stick that is peach flavored. Huh, interesting. There's like a cardboard holder and this is what slid out. I don't know if I'm getting peach flavor. I'm not sure what this reminds me of. Sweet peach flavor. It feels like a health food as I chew it. Like a fruit leather that someone didn't dehydrate quite right. And yeah, I'm not sure what this flavor is. I guess it's peach, but it's like earthier than that. This thing confuses me. If you find it, I highly recommend you try it. Also, the paper covering it is rice paper. You just eat it, it dissolves in your mouth. Or at least I assume so, as I ate it and it dissolved in my mouth. This. Horiki brown sugar flavor, Okinawa. Crunchy pretzel sticks, brown sugar flavored. Interesting. Wow, that smells like it's just a big old stick of brown sugar. Are you a stick of brown sugar? That answered very little. Huh. I don't know how I feel about these. They have a brown sugar aftertaste, but they're not very sweet. Yeah, I definitely like these. There's like a... Almost a licorice -y taste, but like, as an aftertaste. I enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> these are good. They crunch really well. things again. Well, we'll do the thing I'm holding on top first. It is mochi, ch mochi choco. That word. It is chewy mochi. I love chewy mochi. Looks like it's covered in chocolate with almonds. Are these almonds? And then the other thing, I can't eat, so it doesn't matter. Green apple mochi. They're just little squares, they're like little gummy candies. And they're like a, like a medium kind of chew. I've had them in different flavors, that's how I know this. They're like a medium kind of chew. They've got kind of like a 
crunchy-ish outside where it's like shh, and then it's squishy on the inside and it melts away in a second and it's just really delicious. Gotta quit saying delicious. But yeah. In flavors that aren't green apple, I have thoroughly enjoyed these. Put you in the apple pile. And try this mochi thing. Ooh, looks like a little moon pie. Yeah, I'm just gonna bite it. All I'm getting is chocolate. I'm not tasting any kind of nut if there's any in there. Mm. That's really, really good. It's got like a crunchy-ish chocolate outer layer and then it's squishy on the inside but like mochi squishy and then on the very center there's like it's not soft chocolate it's slightly softer than the outer layer but not as soft as the mochi itself mm. that was texturally fascinating <laughs> and yeah that good Japanese chocolate. This. And if you took your treat premium, you get a giant bag of something. Usually K Cats. So this is Juju. Hoji Cha Kit Kats. Kyoto. It is a type of tea roasted over charcoal. Hoji, hoji cha flavor. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, that's an interesting smell. But like in a good way. Ooh, that smells very strongly. It smells like milk tea. And that's different. Way different flavor than like green tea or matcha but way lighter than like black tea. It's earthy and difficult to explain. It's really good. Definitely, yeah, earthy is the word. Earthier than, uh, than matcha. Baffled. <laughs> Highly recommend that you try those if you ever see them. And if you ever come across that type of tea, also try it as tea, because hmm. that's just really tasty. <laughs> Cookies. Matcha sandwich cookies Kyoto. I'm going with their matcha sandwich cookies. Sleeve. Looks like an Oreo. Matcha tastes extremely plant like compared to the Kit Kat. Like, 
like the difference between a roasted vegetable and a fresh one. That's so weird. That was a pretty standard, you know, vanilla cookie, matcha cream. Nothing really to write home about other than to note the difference. Um, I wouldn't seek them out in a store, but I wouldn't say no to them again. that was everything. <laughs> so that was everything in November's Tokyo Treat Box. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that's all I gotta say about this one. Hmm. No, it's really good. Um, everything was super delicious, except for the three things that I couldn't try. The apple coke, the green apple mochi, and the Ann Pan Man apple gummies. They're all going to good homes. Don't worry. Um, I'm disappointed that we've got a repeat kit the last few kits we've had have been repeats and not necessarily of the good quality kits I had, to, I, I had to say it somebody had to say it so yeah last month's kit was also a repeat and the beverage was normal flavored ramen with some Pokemon on the bottle. So, uh, I don't know. I might just do this off screen. Just like eat a kit without the camera on? Can I do that? Anyway, I do have a kit that does not come in a Tokyo treat that I could do. Comment below if you're even interested in watching candy kits or what you really want to see. And... Yeah, I really don't have anything else to say. Tokyo treats got good stuff. If you stay subscribed for 47 months, you'll probably get some repeats. And yeah. I guess. Like this if you like this. Comment. Subscribe for new videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And join me next time when something is happening. Definitely 100% something. Bye. Did I just mess up my makeup? I think I just messed up my makeup. Ah, score one for Jeffree Star.